what is going on guys so i just got back from the gym a little bit ago here and um i do apologize i'm kind of sick but this video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be um showing you guys my workout from today it's going to be a squat and um deadlift session with a little bit of accessory work but mostly just heavier squats and deadlifts so did some normal back squats threw my shoes on my olympic shoes again did some knee sleeves um this time as well and did my um, belt so pretty much my normal squat for a few weeks if you saw my Instagram I was just using like vans or like some flat sole shoes sometimes even barefoot and I was also not even using um, uh, sometimes without a belt and sometimes without knee wraps as well so that's something I wanted to just work on for a little bit just to see how it felt and um, then I went back this week and it felt really good so hopefully you guys have been doing well and um, I want to say thank you guys if you're a new subscriber to the channel um, I'm getting quite a bit um, amount of subscribers recently for some reason and um, I do appreciate that so thank you guys for subscribing and for clicking on this video once again sorry about my voice I really um, kind of getting over this sickness and talking so much throughout my personal training job throughout the day makes it even tougher so um, yeah so Basically, this is a great workout today. I wanted to get back into moving some heavier weights here, but making sure that I'm moving the weights very effectively. So I really was focusing on my form through my squats here, and I was really focusing on keeping tightness, really squeezing my glutes at the top um, so I wasn't starting out with all that pelvic tilt at all. And um, that was kind of the main focus of these squats. Um, but as you're gonna see in a second here, I worked up to um, basically three, two, one. So my three um, set of three was 315 by three. Then I worked up to 340, or no, excuse me, 335 for a set of two, and then 345 for a set of one. So probably could have gone a little heavier. I was at about a RPE nine, um, eight or nine on these um, last few squats. And um, I probably could have gone a little bit heavier, maybe 365 on that single. But like I said, I wanted to make sure that each rep was going to be as clean um, as the last one. So didn't want to have any grinders, and that's something I'm really working on I want to keep myself safe obviously and I just don't want too many grinders in my system I want quick and effect uh, excuse me effective reps um, pretty much always um, being done even when I'm training even when I'm going heavy um, so that when I am going on those for those PRs um, they feel smooth and they feel fast and it doesn't feel like I'm like giving every single um, ounce of energy that I have during those reps um, especially even on those PRs um, and I'm smoking them rather, so I'm just flying through it, and they feel like um, just every other weight. And that's kind of the theory and kind of how I like to train because my my thing is if, if you're going to go in the gym every day and you're going to make this something that you actually put time into, um, you're going to go consistently every single week um, for years, why would you want to build yourself up on a foundation of form that's half-assed you want to make sure that you're you're getting a good foundation of form that you can consistently build upon and I think that's something a lot of people neglect and they don't really get that foundation of consistency um, and then build upon that because if you're focusing on the weight and your form isn't even down um, it makes it tough to make progress but if the form is down and you're you're keying yourself on the on the things that you need to focus on every single time but those are almost becoming second nature for you and you're able to just focus on okay what do I need to do to get through this this weight or through this rep range and instead of focusing so much on holy shit am I going to be able to get this weight up you can focus more so on being smooth and being consistent with your reps so Definitely focus on your form, guys. Dial it in. If you need to tailor back a little bit and go a little bit lighter and work on your form and make tweaks, don't be afraid to um, because in the long haul, that's definitely going to make the difference. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time, what did I do to build up my squat? What did I do to get my form as efficient and as smooth and as um, uh, full depth as I do? And um, really, I just I compared to basketball a lot or any sport um, where you have to really get consistent and you have to get the same motion down. Golf would be another great example. In basketball, you have to shoot consistently. These guys who are in the NBA, they're shooting hundreds, even thousands of shots a day. And that's how they're able to get that form down so when they have a defender in their face, they're easily able to make that shot because it's second nature to them. Just like when you go into a squat rack, I want that to feel like like home. Like you get underneath it and you feel like, bam. Like you can just drop down, you feel smooth, everything feels in the position you need it to, and you're just able to have a smooth and effective rep. 
um, each and every time. Um, that's basically how I did it. You just get used to doing it more and more, and you do it more and more, and you get better at your craft. Um, Raymond, uh, the online coach, talks about all the time mastering your craft, guys. Being able to get um, perfect your squat form. I know you're never going to get perfect squat form, but you can get damn close. And that's pretty much what I think about every time I go in the gym. So that's pretty much the mindset I had throughout this workout on every one of my exercises. Moving on to um, deadlifts, I did um, just once again three sets of three. Basically, I went 225 for three. 315 for three and 405 for three. Um, I've hit 405 for five reps before for a PR. It's my all-time PR at 405. So being able to hit that for three was definitely something I was content with. Um, this past week I was pretty sick, and when I was sick, um, I got a cold and I pushed myself a little bit too hard. Um, and I was feeling a little bit ill last week. This weekend felt really crappy. Had a fever. Um, lost about five or ten pounds, and I'm getting my weight back up. Um, I'm about 153 pounds this morning. So being able to move 405 for three and move 345 as effectively as I did on squats um, and then on deadlifts for the 405, I'm very content. So definitely going to be improving going back to hitting squats and deadlifts consistently and getting um, those higher rep ranges, or excuse me, those heavier um, loads with the lighter rep ranges um, and just getting, getting stronger again, guys. I really want to get back to lifting in the lower rep ranges, getting stronger in those one to three reps, three to five reps, and start hitting some PRs again. Get back to hitting 405 on squat. Get back to just moving um, more weight. And um, I really was just kind of getting away from it for a little bit because I wanted to get my diet in check. And when I'm not um, at a higher body fat than I want to be, I'm feeling, as you guys can see, I'm pretty lean right now. I want to make sure that my, my joints and everything feel um, strong and I feel basically at the utmost um, and the most optimal um, uh, body composition for getting stronger and moving those optimal and PR weights. So hopefully that kind of makes sense and hopefully you guys kind of understand what I mean. But um, yeah, so today went really well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video and i um, just going to kind of leave you guys with the accessory work that I did. Did a little bit of leg extensions with some sissy squats and then I did um, just a little bit of uh, hamstring work as well, um, finishing with some calves. So enjoy the rest of the video guys. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Please make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys very much. Stay tuned. I'm going to be releasing my website very soon, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. Um, but I'll be making a video kind of going over that in depth um, very soon. Thank you guys again. Peace out.